Hey there, Husky Pups, it's Mrs. Chamberlain, and I have something cool for you. Now, this isn't a math lesson, but on Wednesday during the lunch passouts at Washington West, this is an opportunity for all kindergartners to go down and pick up a math toolkit. It's our kindergarten math toolkit. We put these together so that it would be something that you could use to help you with some of these math lessons, okay? So what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to show you all the things that are going to come in your math toolkit on Wednesday if you go down to pick it up during lunchtime. We can't mail these in the mail to you because there's items in there that would not go through the mail very easily, okay? So I wanted to show you what was in our math toolkit to help you out and show you some of the different things that you can use. So I have my math toolkit here and I'm going to just go through quickly what's in there because Mrs. Bates or myself might ask you to use some of these pieces if you have them at your house already. Okay. The first thing in there is you're going to get a stack of 10 blocks. Your blocks will link together like my Legos do but your blocks will link together. You'll get 10 of those. It'll be one color, not two colors probably, or maybe you'll get multiple colors. I don't know. So you're gonna end up with 10 blocks, okay? The next thing you'll find in there is a paper clip. And this paper clip is important because there's different games you can use for this paper clip. There will be a pencil that you can use in there. And then there will be a dry erase marker. Okay, so that you can all have one of those for your toolkit. You'll notice that the toolkit has a packet just like this inside a little sleeve. That's because these sleeves you can write on with that magic dry erase marker. I can write right on there and I can erase it away if I have a sock or a tissue that erases it. Okay, all right, so now let's get into what's inside the sleeve. Okay. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you is a piece of paper that has, it looks kind of like dice. That's exactly what it is. What you do is you cut out around all the outside edges, outside edges, and then you fold it up into a box and you use a glue to glue on these little tabs and you tab it all together and you'll end up with a dice that you can roll to play some of those dice games, okay? The second thing that's in there is you'll find a page like this. A page like this becomes a spinner. That's where your pencil and your paper clip come in handy. And I know you've seen some of these in school because we've done them in school together, but you put your paper clip down your pencil on the middle section and then you may have a little spinner with your paper clip this one is blank so that you could write numbers in there this one goes through nine or if you don't want to write your number right on there you can stick it inside your sleeve and then you can write your numbers on it You could write the numbers like that so that you can reuse it because then it's not on your paper, it's just on the sleeve. Okay, so you can reuse it in case you wanted to play it with different numbers. Okay, so that's what's that one. And again, you use your paper clip and your pencil to make a spinner. Most of you should know how to do that because we have done that in school. The next thing that's in there is a set of number cards. These number cards start at one and they go to 24, just as some extras, but you could use these to put into number bonds. You could use these to count with. You can use these to put in order. You can use these to count backwards. You can use them to answer subtraction questions. These little number cards can come in handy for almost anything that you're using. You could even put them in your sleeve and practice making the numbers by writing over the top of them with your dry erase marker. Lots of ideas for that one. Okay, all right, next, this is something that you all have seen before. You got it. This is the one where you practice writing your numbers. And you do just that. You slide it inside your sleeve. Just 
just like this. You slide it in, slide your sleeve, and you know the top one we always start with zero. Awesome. And then you say, hey, mom and dad, set me a timer for one minute. See if I can write all of my numbers until I get to 20. So they would say, go. And you would start writing your numbers inside that box, one in each box, trying to make sure you don't have any backwards numbers. And then when they say stop, you'll stop and you'll put your pencil down. You'll say, oh boy, I got to 15 this time, Mrs. Chamberlain. Awesome. And then you can erase them. And you can say, okay, mom, give me another minute and see if I can get past the number that I just did without any reversals. So then you'll, she'll tell you to go and you'll be writing your numbers. And they may give you a minute and a half, two minutes, and then you'll just keep writing. And even once you get to 20, you can keep going because there's more boxes. And then eventually she'll say, okay, stop. And you'll have gotten farther this time. So this time you got to 25 instead of 15. So then you can practice writing your numbers and then you can wipe it right away. And you'll have it again to practice another day. So that's how you can practice writing your numbers. On the other side of that is a number chart. And it goes all the way up to 120. And this is something you can practice your counting with. You can practice going forwards, going backwards. Or if your mom said, what's one more than 15? You could find 15, go up one. Oh, 16. What's nine minus three? We'll start with nine and go back three squares. One, two, three. I landed on six. So you can use these for addition, subtraction, recognizing numbers, counting your numbers. Again, just another tool, okay? The next one that's in there is one of my favorites that I like to use. It is a subtraction and it has, um, it has the number sentence at the top, the number line, not the number sentence, the number line at the top. This is where the number sentence goes and then this has your um, number bond in it that you can fill out. So what I do is I put one of these blocks in each one and we can use it to subtract Fill in the number sentence, fill in the number bond. Erase and do it again. The other side to this has addition. So you can practice adding. So if I said I had three and I put three blocks on, give me two more, put two on, and then I end up with five. So it's a way to practice addition and subtraction. It's one of my favorites. We use those in centers a lot in Mrs. Chamberlain's classroom. Alrighty, the next one. Oh, it's fairly easy. The next one, this is a 10 frame and it's two 10 frames and we wanna leave it just like that because eventually we're gonna to get to talking about our teen numbers and this will help us to put things in our boxes for our teen numbers. And then the other side of that is blank. And again, this can slide into your paper, into your little pouch. It'll slide in there and you can use it to write on. You can write it for blanks. So I can use this as a blank side and I can use it for my 10 frame. Okay. Alrighty. And that brings me to the next one, which you all know what that is. This is a, you got it, a number bond. And we'll just put it inside there and you can use it. Your number bond can go this way. It can go this way. It could even go this way if you wanted it to. Okay, so it's a number bond. And on the other side of it, we'll eventually get to, we're not gonna have it right away, but this will help us with our teen numbers. So it talks about, say if I had the number 15, I would write that the number 15 has blank tens and blank ones. And then these are tens and these are ones. But we'll show you more how to use something like this later on to practice your teen numbers, okay? And the final two papers that are in there, these I would slide inside my page protector to use over and over again, moms and dads. This way um, you can use them and you don't have to worry about making copies of them. So you can use them over and over. But there's an A, a B, a C, and a D. And these are called sprints. 
And now the purpose to a sprint is for kids to practice their numbers, sentences, and be able to do it kind of automatically, or what we sometimes say quickly, so they don't have to count on their fingers or their toes or any of that stuff. So again, you give them a minute to two minutes, and you say, on your mark, get set, go, and what they do is in the little boxes, they'll fill in the answers. So if you say go, and then they'll look at it and they'll add, add it. They can say them out loud if they need to, or if they just need to look at it and then add it. And then you'll say stop, count them up, see how far they got, and then you can erase them. And then you can say, okay, I'm gonna give you another minute, see if you can get farther this time and see how much farther they get. And you can give them different challenges, okay? And the numbers, they, they will switch. Sometimes they'll say two plus one equals, sometimes they'll say blank equals three plus two. So it's kind of looking at the balanced side of an equation. Um, but if you put them inside the sleeves, you can reuse them. So once they master A, then you can move on to B. If they master B, you can move on to C. And then D, you have four sets so that they can practice doing those sprints at home. And again, you give them about a minute to two minutes to do as many as they can. It's nothing stressful, nothing graded. It's just a way to help them practice being quicker with their addition facts and the subtraction facts. So once they master the addition, they can move on to subtraction. Okay, boys and girls, so you might see Mrs. Bates or myself ask you to get out some of these papers or some of these resources to use during our videos, and because you'll have them in your little math toolkit, you'll know right where to get them, and you won't have to worry about not having something close by, okay? So please make every effort you can to pick these up during lunch giveaways on Wednesday at Washington West. And this is for kindergartners only, okay? So I hope you go down and I hope you pick up your packets, your toolkits to help you out. And even if you're not picking up lunch, you can just tell them you came down to pick up the kindergarten toolkit packets. And our friends that are passing out lunch that day will be ready with your toolkits, okay? All right, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Get those math packets.